Family and friends gather today to honor Mr. Okra. And this is New Orleans, so they celebrated his life with a second line. Carice Jackman shows us the hundreds of people who came out to remember a New Orleans original. We are here on the corner of Louisa and Dauphine where you can see a second line is taking place to honor Mr. Okra. Hundreds of people came out today for this memorial. It started at the Marigny Opera House. Family members and loved ones wore lime green shirts as his casket was taken out and next to his truck where he was alongside. And now you can see so many people are paying their respects in this second line that went down with several blocks. New Orleans honored him in the best way possible through music and dance and just honoring the life that touched so many people. We talked to some of these people who came out here today. Here's what they had to say. My heart is bubbling over with joy. This is his legacy. This is the life he led and made for himself. I love it. I love it. Well, I used to come by every morning, you know, like, uh, and I always want bananas. And before, I just hear the truck, you know, I go, first of all, you wake up to it. You know, I got, I got the mango, I got oranges, I got the I got all this stuff. So I'd run out the house, and he'd slow down, and he'd just wink at me. Coming up tonight on I Win is News at 10, we'll have more from Mr. Oprah's second line, and just the people he impacted and the people he touched. Reporting here in the Marini, I'm Carice Jackman, I Win is News. And as Carrie said, we'll have much more on Mr. Oker's memorial coming up at 10.